50th anniversary this year. I have Chad Troutman, Park Manager at Fort Stevenson State Park, joining me now to share more. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, well, I heard you had a little bit of a drive here, so thanks for coming. I did, but that's all right. I'm yes. glad to be here. Yes, of course. So, first of all, some of our viewers may not be familiar with where Fort Stevenson State Park is located. Where is it? Actually, Fort Stevenson is located in the bluffs on the north shore of Lake Sakakawea. Mm -hmm. um, so just three miles south of Garrison and about 50 miles south of Minot. Wonderful. And how long have you been manager there? I've been manager at Fort Stevenson State Park for around 11 years now. Wow. What's your favorite part of your job? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say that there's no monotony in park work, so yep. I love that part that it's always changing. Yes, that is exciting. So you've been with the park 11 years, but you're celebrating 50 years as a park this year. How does that really feel? You know, it's, it's, it's really exciting because I, I've been with Fort Stevenson State Park since 1999. And mm -hmm. so I have a long history at Fort Stevenson and seeing all the exciting things and events that have occurred there and, and, and all the memories and the people that I've met. So a very exciting time to share with the people and, and uh, we're just really excited to get started with the year and share all the events that we have. Yes, well that certainly is exciting. And I know that Fort Stevenson is known for hosting a lot of special events. What really can park goers look forward to this year? Well, so we always have our events at Fort Stevenson and one of the things that we have that is we're getting known for is our evening hike series. So mm -hmm. we do have our next event, our full moon, snow moon hike, which will be coming up February 24th. But something new and exciting this year, we're gonna be going for the S'mores Guinness record attempt. So uh, that will be taking place on May 18th. And we encourage everyone to come out to Fort Stevenson State Park to help us in, in breaking the record. In addition to that, we'll have a large 50th anniversary celebration um, that'll take place in August 3rd, where we'll have a lighted boat parade, we'll have live entertainment, a ski performance, mm -hmm. as well as a uh, sailboat regatta. So a lot of fun this summer. You really piqued my interest with this S'mores World Record. I have to know what really inspired this. Well, when we started brainstorming on what we could do for something big for Fort Stevenson's 50th anniversary and, and the team at the park there got together and we were trying to come up with some event that would, would be related, but we mm -hmm. thought, well, maybe not go for a Guinness record. So we started brainstorming or searching which records that would be appropriate for Fort Stevenson or a state park. So with that, we found the, the most more simultaneously made at a, uh, at a location and it's one that we're excited to go after. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the changes that Fort Stevenson has experienced over the years. You know, the, the park has seen a lot of changes over the years as, as anyone could man, mm -hmm. manage. I would say in, you know, early on in the 1980s when Fort Stevenson had the development of the Detroit Marine Marina, that was a, a large improvement for the state park and for the area. Mm -hmm. um, that provided uh, an, an additional water-based recreational opportunities, which Fort Stevenson is known for, but it also provided a protected area for people to launch and load their boats from. As, as the years went on, of course, impacts to camping and special events, and we've, get, we've received a Fort Stevenson uh, guardhouse, which is our park museum. Mm -hmm. um, all of those improvements have come along to help tell the story of Fort Stevenson and welcome visitors. Yeah, it's a lot of exciting things going on. I know that Fort Stevenson also has a strong historical aspect to it, too. Tell me about ways that you incorporate the history into this. Yes, uh, Fort Stevenson was named after an 1800s, late 1800s military post, which which was a supply depot for many forts in the Dakota Territory. Uh, with that being the case, more visitors can come to learn more about the fort's history by attending our State Park Museum, which is our Guardhouse Visitor Museum, as well as attending our event in June, which is Frontier Military Days. Well, there certainly is a lot to look forward to. I'm curious, though, for you personally, what are you most looking forward to for Fort Stevenson State Park? Oh, you got me with that one. What am I <laughs> most look? You know, I guess without being prepped, the thing that I would say I, I most look forward to is the people. Uh, the people to me are, are really the, the reason why we have state parks and, 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 and the memories that we help create. Um, one of the stories I'll share is that during Sky Fest is a kite festival that we have at the state park. And what I get to see during Sky Fest is moms and dads and grandparents and kids all taking place in an activity of just simply flying a kite. Mm -hmm. and, and just watching the memories that are being made and how we can facilitate those families and getting outside and enjoying themselves. So to me, that's just what it's all about. So. Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, I'm so excited. Yes, of course, well, we're excited for the future too. All right, everyone stick around. We 
have much more yet to come right here on North Dakota Today.